Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. Today we will learn what is vaccine, its ingredients and discovery. Immune system is a defense system of our body. Like country is protected by its defense army, likewise a body is protected by different kind of a cells or we should say immune cells which act like soldiers and protect us from outside enemies. These enemies can be bacteria, viruses, protozoa, fungi, algae, parasites or pollen grains or any other foreign particles which can be harmful for our body. Generally, our body's healthy immune system is able to fight with these foreign agents. But when our immune system is weak, there is a, some kind of a disorder or foreign agent is too strong. Here it means highly pathogenic, then immune system cannot work properly, cannot kill those foreign particles. In that case, body gets sick. There are many highly pathogenic microbes outside our body. Whenever they get opportunity, they attack. So we need prior protection and that is provided by vaccination. Vaccine is a biological preparation which prepare body's immune system to fight against the disease which body has not come in contact with before. So it is a protection before attack. When vaccine is administrated into our body, body recognize it as a foreign agent and produce antibodies against it. Body store these antibodies for future attack in the form of memory. Whenever that foreign agent attack, body release those antibodies to fight with that harmful particle. And now, what are the ingredients of vaccine? A vaccine contains antigen, stabilizers, adjuvants, antibiotics and preservatives. Antigens. Antigens are the components derived from the structure of disease causing organisms which can be bacteria, virus, fungi etc. These are recognized as foreign by the immune system and it produces antibodies against those antigens. Antigens can be live attenuated. What it means their disease causing ability has been reduced or they can be killed or inactivated. It means their disease causing ability has been completely removed. They are dead. Or there can be a part of antigen which can be a protein or any toxins which can be included in the vaccine. Stabilizers. Stabilizers are used to help the vaccine to maintain its effectiveness during storage. Stabilizing agents include magnesium chloride, magnesium sulfate, lactosorbitol and sorbitol gelatin. Next is adjuvants. Adjuvants are added to vaccine to stimulate the production of antibodies against the vaccine to make it more effective. Antibiotics. Generally, it is present in the trace amount. Antibiotics are added into vaccine during the manufacturing process to prevent bacterial contamination. Next is preservatives. During storage of vaccine, there may be a chance of bacterial and fungal contamination. To avoid that, variety of preservatives like thiomersal, formaldehyde or phenol derivatives are added. And now, Discovery of Vaccine Vaccine and vaccination terms are derived from the words variole vaccini which means cowpox. The term was given by Edward Jenner who was an English physician and scientist. Edward Jenner is the one who discovered world's first vaccine. During his medical practice, he noticed milkmaid who already contacted cowpox did not catch smallpox. Cowpox is a disease which causes blistering in cow's udder and milkmaids who touch infected cow's udder develop the signature pustules in their hands. This observation of Jenner led the discovery of first vaccine. On May 14, 1796, 
Jenner took fluid from cowpox blister and injected it into the skin of 8-year-old boy named James Phipps. A single blister rose up on the spot, but James soon recovered. On July 1, Jenner inoculated the boy again, this time with smallpox matter, and no disease developed. The first vaccine was a success. Very soon, in all over the Europe, doctors adopted the Jenner's vaccination technique. Europe saw drastic fall in smallpox cases after that. With the time, smallpox vaccine became more sophisticated. WHO ran international vaccination program and by 1983, smallpox was completely eradicated. So this was the part one of vaccine where we learned about uh, what is vaccine, its ingredients and discovery. In part two, we will learn how vaccine works and its types. So thank you for watching.